In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the fill command in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So first things first, you need to make sure that you have both cheats turned on and also coordinates. So please make sure that the option that says activate cheats is actually selected. Then afterwards, you want to make sure that show coordinates is turned on as well because we will need coordinates in order to do this process. All right, then what you want to do is you want to mark out the area that you would like to fill with blocks. So we got two blocks right over here. You could use whatever block you want. It doesn't necessarily have to be oak logs, but basically inside of this like area that we did select, that is where the blocks are going to be filled in and it is going to create like a rectangle. So you got to put one corner right over here and then the other block for the opposite corner. Okay, once you're done with that, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and go to the first block that you did place down on the ground, just like so. Okay, then what you want to do is you want to type in the chat slash fill, and then you're going to see a number right over here. So in our example, it is negative 456, and you basically want to type in your current coordinates, and you guys can go ahead and look at the chat, and it's automatically going to suggest your coordinates. So let's go ahead and type that in. Then let's type in the second number then the last number right over here and these are basically the coordinates the coordinates that we are on on the first block so go ahead and just type this in then press on enter it is then going to give you a syntax error but that is 100 percent normal so after you're done with that what you want to do is you want to go to the second block right over here and then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and copy that last command you could tap on the up arrow key in order to actually retrieve your last text uh if you're on a mobile device then you're going to need to go ahead and manually type it again and what you want to do is you want to type in three squiggly lines just like so and then afterwards, what you want to do is you want to type in the name of the block that you actually want to fill in the space with. So let's say for this example, we wanted to go ahead and fill this up with diamond blocks. We can absolutely do so. So just type in diamond and then underscore block. Then once you're 100% sure that it is done and correct, go ahead and press on enter and check this out, guys. It was immediately able to fill up this entire area over here. And it honestly does look pretty good. And if you guys are wondering, it is completely solid. All of the blocks inside are also diamond as well. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next tutorial.